the feral people. What do you know about the feral people? You don't want to mess with them. But okay. if, if you go, just be careful. Okay. Take yeah, a well, gun with What's up everyone, I'm Aldo's World. What's up guys, I'm Mo Sargi. And today we're in Bluefield, West Virginia, known as one of the poorest regions in the United States according to Peter Santanello and Nick Jackson. So during the coal mine industry, when it was booming like bigger than life itself, this town was bustling, it was hustling, there was a lot of businesses, there was a lot of people making money out here. But when the coal mines closed down, the rivers got polluted and the air itself, everyone fled this place. A lot of people actually suffered a lot of health problems and this place ended up becoming kind of like a ghost town. Now, what you may not know is Appalachia is also home to one of the most haunted things that have ever happened, including a six-year-old boy, Dennis Martin, who went missing in 1969. It was June 14th in the summer of 69 when six-year-old Dennis Martin, his brother and friends, planned a playful prank. And Dennis never showed up. The Dennis Martin case is one of the missing 411's most unexplainable and most terrifying. From natural explanations like unseen predators to the possibility of supernatural entities beyond our comprehension. What followed is believed to be the largest search in park history. They amassed a whole lot of people, hundreds and hundreds of people. The U.S. Army with big Chinook helicopters. There's also these stories about the feral people that live off of the trails in Appalachia, in the mountains, in these areas, pretty much all of Appalachia. It's really massive. But in certain parts of the trails, there are the feral people. Now, we don't know if it's true, but we want to figure out if these people do exist in the forest. And a lot of people that we've talked to already have told us do not go there. Do not go there alone at nighttime. Bring weapons if you are going to be dumb enough to go there because these people are dangerous. The family walked up the valley and they report hearing an enormous, sickening scream louder than they could ever imagine. At about the same time, their son says to the dad, look at dad, there's a bear running in the bushes up there on the hill. The dad says, no son, I don't think that's a bear. He says, you know that family, what they saw on the hill? I said, yeah. He said, well, the newspaper and the park service won't tell anybody this. But when they saw that thing on the hill, it had something on its shoulder. Something forcefully took Dennis Martin off that hill. There are a series of wild men, meaning people like you and me who live off the grid that wear animal pelts up there in the woods. And the Park Service can't control it. And he said at the time, about a year or two before Dennis disappeared, a Park Service ranger was attacked by one of these people and nearly killed because the person that attacked the ranger was armed, but at the time, the National Park Service enforcement rangers were not armed. These feral people are known to be cannibalistic. They have deformed heads, longer than usual arms, and they can literally run so fast that they can catch a deer with their own hands and eat it. Apparently they can rip those deers apart. Like they rip their antlers off of their heads. Yeah. That's crazy. It is crazy. This area is also home to the Mothman, the Moonshine Queen, and the inbred family, the Whittakers. Now I know this is kind of controversial about the whole inbred thing, but this isn't stuff that we've made up. This is stuff that's actually documented by science. There's a lot of information about this. And while there are a lot of things that you read online, not all of them are 100% accurate, and we are well aware of that. And we are thinking of this as a learning experience. And if you are locals and you know more about this subject, than we do, then we are humbled by that. You can feel free to comment in the section down below because we are always trying to learn. No one's perfect at the end of the day, so please don't hold that against us. All we're here to do is to document all of the spooky things that have happened here. For the most part, whenever you search up haunted or paranormal or supernatural stuff about Appalachia on YouTube, all you get is people sitting at home in their bedrooms, reading off articles that they found online. No one's actually setting foot. No one's actually going on the ground to investigate paranormal things and supernatural things out here. So honestly, I think we're kind of the first people to do this. We definitely are, guys. No one has actually stepped in here, risked their life to document all the haunted things in deep Appalachia until now. In this series, our goal is to explore the spooky side of Appalachia and to document any of the things that people claim they have heard 
on the internet. So make sure you subscribe to both of our channels, turn that post notification bell on and switch it to all so every single time we upload a video, you don't miss out guys. This is gonna be an entire series. There is a lot to cover here, so obviously you're gonna wanna stick around until the end of the video. And without further ado, here we go. Starting route to Appalachia. Yo! <laughs> you ready? We're committed. Don't do will drive. Oh man, here we go. There's no going back now. We're committed. Let's figure it out. Alright, guys, we got about nine and a half hours, so we got to Appalachia. Hope we find the cool when we get there. Nine hours until our demise. All the way up there is where people say that feral people live. I guess there's only one way to find out. Six and a half hours later. Welcome to Bluevale, West Virginia. So this is one of the poorest counties in the United States. Just this area alone in Bluefield, everything is literally abandoned. Check this out. We got this. It's abandoned. This is abandoned as well. I mean, it's almost Christmas time again, but this was probably here for years and years. And uh, like Mo was telling you guys before, one of the reasons this place became abandoned was this used to be a big coal mine city. So everyone who worked here, they had a job at the coal mine, but then the coal mine actually shut down. When people lose their jobs, unfortunately, you know, money isn't everything, but it really does affect the towns and of, of the people surrounding it. Now, because we're on the road, guys, we literally drove all the way from Canada. It's been about 16, 16 to 20 hours into our trip. That's why I'm wearing the On The Road merch, guys. So if you like the merch, make sure you go and copy from my store, all those world dot store to get your merch right now. Hopefully we could run into some people and they can tell us a little bit about this place. Later on in the series, we're gonna be staying overnight at an abandoned haunted amusement park here in Appalachia. After that, we're gonna be going deep into the Appalachia Trail and we're gonna be staying there overnight to see if we can catch any other things on camera. Before we get to that, let's see if we can talk to some people so we can actually learn and hear some of the stories from the people who live here. He said in this building, the piano started playing in the church. It was on the fifth floor and it was, uh, was not like really? a, yeah, like it was just, like I, I mean, I've caught stuff like that on camera in the past. Okay. Yeah, so apparently, the, and I like this the old pastor was telling me about it, and the whole group was in there. We threw a little festival, like an arts and crafts festival. So the pastor, he was in here, and he was talking about it upstairs, and I guess where everyone knew him in the town. Like, yeah. It got to where he was like, it was like a little church following. There was like ten people in here telling stories, and then that story came up. Okay. You know, you is like the best of both worlds. You have the. The countryside you mind? Okay. and the city side, you know what I'm saying? So right. it's like, it's a beautiful place, you know what I mean? Same what's people. your name? Nick. Nick, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too, Aldo. Well, what's it like? I mean, it's cool, it's, it's small, but I mean, it just, you know, you got like scenery parks and stuff around here, you know what I mean? Like, great view of the mountains. Okay. Know? It's all right, it's beautiful out here. Hey, you heard of the parallel people? Mm -mm. No, I've no, never heard of that. It's crazy. Online, it's a big thing about these people that live in the woods in the Appalachians. And apparently, if you go in there, they hunt you down, they kill you, and eat you. Wow. Like, so yeah. Asking people out here, and it's like, we never heard of them. I never heard of that. That's the first time. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, wow. I never heard yeah. of that. Well, we plan on doing a video where we're like, we're gonna go and sleep in the woods. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to document it, you know? See yeah. if it's legit. So here's the thing. Some people have heard of it, some people haven't. I wasn't filming this earlier in our adventure, but I spoke to a lady at the gas station and she told me that, yes, there are feral people in the mountains. So right now we're at this abandoned school. Check this out. Massive abandoned school. At least I think it's a school. This is a school, right, Mel? I think so, yeah. And look, it's just a gigantic abandoned school. I wonder if we can find a way inside. A lot of these places are run down ever since the coal mine shut down. A lot of people lost their jobs and stuff like that. Sometimes when you're in these areas, you can fly a little close to the sun, let's just say. And you can get burnt. I think we're in a pretty sketchy area right now, so we gotta be really careful. Um, and if you guys are watching this, sketchy for lack of better words. I just mean a little dangerous. 
So no, bro, there's like, don't there's cancel like, us. No, there's like actual like drug dealers out here, dude. Like, yeah, like there's like sketchy people out here. Yeah, we cancel so, or not? Why would you get canceled for that? I don't know. The truth. We're people get offended. The truth of these places. That's true. We were trying to get everything here unfiltered. All right, everyone. So right now we're gonna go deep in Appalachia in these rural areas. Some things you don't see on TV. And we're gonna see, maybe I can speak to someone here that lives in these areas, um, stuff like that. See what it's like living here, tell some stories. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's your name? Hopkins. Hopkins, nice to meet you. My name is Aldo. Yeah, glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. What, what's it like living here? What's it like living here? Yeah. I've been here for 40 years. Oh, okay. Just in this, this, this section. Do you mind if I come a little closer? I know it's your property, I don't want to. Get out of the sun and be fine, yeah. Ah, perfect, thank you. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've been burned out, but they ain't nobody run me off. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going nowhere. I had a little boy burn my house to the ground about 25 years ago. Are you serious? Yep. Someone burned your house down? Yep, a little 14 year old boy burned it down and they didn't do nothing to him. Why? You got me. That is, that is not cool, to be honest. It's not. They should do so, especially when this is your home cost me sixty thousand dollars plus i had to build another home damn and they didn't do nothing about that didn't do a thing to it that's ridiculous how are the people here uh doing good uh, most of them are getting old now yeah there's a few younger ones living down here but i'm 73 and my wife's 73 a couple of the ladies down that way are single now and their husbands have passed away they're up in their 60s sorry to hear that yeah. So we've been but growing up here and everything, eh? It's an old section of town. Yeah, it really is. And uh, the media doesn't really capture some of this. The, the news, they don't really capture these kind of things. So that's why we want to come meet the people, see what it's like, you know what I mean? Oh, you never see anything on this side of town. They never do any upkeep. They never do anything to it or anything. No. Uh, no. Did you work in um, the coal mine? And people used to work there and stuff like that? My father did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He kept me out of the coal mines. How, how come? He didn't want me to go in there. He got his back broke, his neck broke, his foot crushed, his finger broke off. Oh, wow. So it's dangerous working there. When he put us through school, me and my sister and brother, and he didn't want us to go, so. Yeah, God bless his soul. I learned the vending trade. I worked on amusement machines and pool tables, jukeboxes, and stuff like that all my life. Wow, okay. I wish I was a handyman. I'm not really a handyman myself. Yeah. I wish I could learn that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I learned a little bit of carpenter trade and stuff like that. How you doing, sir? He's a handyman. No, I'm not a handyman. <laughs> cars on a road trip all the time. Ah, yeah, right. I break them down probably. I stayed on the road most of the time. I drove about 700,000 miles a year. Keep running, I covered five states. Huh? Maybe I'll ask them, have you ever heard of like people living in the mountains? We heard of like the feral people or something living in the mountains and the trees. Uh, you ever heard of that? They've got what they call the guy that's supposed to live in the mountains around here, but I've never heard or seen any proof of it. Oh, okay. What's the story? And uh, well, you'd have to ask somebody that cared. Oh, okay. Sorry, fair enough. like that, don't bother me. Ah, okay, fair enough. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. You know. All right. Well, it was good meeting you, though. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. The city. Yeah. Oh, so it is abandoned. C condemned. They yeah. condemned the house before they even brought her body out of that. You said someone passed away in there? Some of her relatives went in and got some stuff out, but they ain't nobody been up here in a long time. All right. Cool. Thanks. Supposed to die. The city's supposed to tear it down. Never did. Hey, everyone, comment down below. Tear it down, because it looks like our friend wants them to tear it tear it down. That guy knew something about the feral people, but he was just too afraid to talk. Well, we drove 15 hours to get here. I was not leaving until we found someone who would tell us the truth about what is going on in these woods. And luckily, we ran into this guy. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Aldo. Adam, okay. nice to meet you. Is that true? Talking about deep, deep in the woods now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deep yeah. in the woods. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like we're trying to uncover some of that because, you know, there's a lot of stories on the internet, but no one really knows. Because I know there's some people who live, I mean, they still live off the land and, you know, they... Off the land? Yeah. Like in the forest? 
yeah, yeah like they hunt and all that but yeah we they don't come to town on that so there are uh like the inbreds who live in the yeah. forest that's true yeah okay and so people call them online the term is feral people have you heard of that yeah that's what they call them so oh, actually the there people? actually uh there's a movie on about them it's on netflix oh yeah okay so so i've never watched any of these movies on netflix because i really don't have the time for it but like the feral people what do you know about the feral people don't want to mess with them that's for no. sure no <laughs> i told you i told you we heard this online it's true it's crazy because we've been asking you know random people here and there what do you know about the feral people some people are like oh we've never heard of them they don't exist it's a myth and then we get people that are saying don't mess with them they're, yeah because they they, they they to themselves they don't right they don't play by the rules so they're, no. real. they're real yeah oh my god <laughs> okay that's crazy yeah, yeah. okay but okay. If, if you go just be careful okay take yeah, a we'll gun go. with you. <laughs> for real yeah but we didn't have a gun we had nothing nothing but a camera two dumb youtubers venturing into the wilderness with nothing but a camera <laughs> they don't allow us to bring guns across the border i got a knife though but yeah. oh my god <laughs> well so then they know how to hunt for sure right here they don't like trespassers and yeah they don't hunt you and actually eat human skin from whatever yeah they'll 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 get rid of you yeah they'll get rid of you and they uh they own a bunch of land oh okay they they live in the in the mountains yeah. you know they Shit, okay. and like i said they don't come to town for nothing nothing so how could someone that lives in the mountains never own nothing own the, all the land <laughs> I guess by they, keeping people out yeah i guess they pretty much took it yeah. oh my yeah, god oh, damn wow. so it is true so confirmed <laughs> That's cool. Okay, where yeah. do you think we can go? Where can we find them? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I ain't got no hands. Awesome. Good stuff. That's cool. Guys, finally, after talking to so many people in Appalachia, someone has finally confirmed that the feral people are in fact real. And do you see how worried he was when we started talking about it? He's like, don't get near them. He started getting nervous. He's like, bit. bring a gun. Yeah. Bring so, a gun. He literally told us, bring a gun. So, but obviously, you know, we can't bring guns. Well, maybe we'll bring like a baseball bat or something. We're definitely gonna have to go to Walmart and get some kind of weapons just in case one of them tries to catch us or while they're trying to hunt for us, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're, get, we're definitely gonna be bringing weapons when we go into the forest for the next video. Cause here's the thing guys, he said that they live off of the land and we've also heard that they're cannibals and they eat people and the man confirmed it as well. So it, it like, filming this is one thing i'm just thinking about it it is really dangerous but besides that craziness which we'll deal with later we've also learned that bluefield was once a very bustling area people used to work at the coal mines when that shut down unfortunately a lot of people lost their jobs and it became a little bit more run down we spoke to so many people you know what's crazy is that bluefield has a rich area which we didn't know about mm -hmm. so we haven't even seen that yet like there's an entirely different section of this town that has millionaires mm -hmm. and they probably have different stories to tell as well um and there's a guy who literally lives on the third floor of this abandoned school we thought it was like just one of those abandoned buildings. someone lives here <laughs> yeah we heard there's like feral people that live in the forest yeah. and then there's like the mothman or something yeah mothman yeah, I do believe in that. Really? I love to go up after yes. that festival. Yes. Yeah. Well, now, I do believe in that when my aunt lived there for years. That mm -hmm. well, yeah. Tell us about the Mothman. Why do you believe him in? No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> She's scared. Her, this is what we heard, like, for lack of better words. We heard there's, like, the feral people or, like, hillbilly inbred and they live in the forest. And then oh, yeah, if you like, go in the forest, mm -hmm. they hunt you down. Yeah, like long term kind of yeah, you, have eyes and the wrong yeah. turn. You ever seen that? The wrong no, turn? no. Yeah, check that out. You get a chance. Is it true though? Like, have you guys heard about it? Yeah. All right, guys. So we just sat down and we're about to eat, and this is pretty good so far. We got this white sauce, and I like it. And uh, we got some of this. Good starter. And I kind of also noticed that we've been talking to so many locals that my voice is starting to alter, and I'm gonna try. To not allow that to happen. Anyways, we're gonna order some food and see what we get. You go ahead. All right, guys, we just got all our food ever. So we're about to eat them right now, load up our energy, and then go back to the town and talk to more people and see what we can find. That was 10 out of 10. All right, everyone, so we just finished eating. That wasn't too bad. Now we're about to head 
to an abandoned haunted mansion that our friend told us about here in Appalachia. We're gonna go there, see if we can spend the night. He told us that they're trying to renovate it, but while they're trying to renovate it, the construction workers seem to just run away. Yeah, apparently anyone that's tried to work on this house in the late nights, because they've tried to have people work there um, overtime because they want to actually sell this place not only because it's haunted but because it's an old house it's falling apart so they tried to fix it they tried to hire some construction guys to come in late at night and every company that would come in would just abandon the job and they don't want to finish it they don't want to work on it they're scared so we're about to find out what is going on here in Appalachia so stick tuned for that and uh I guess I'll see you when we get there oh, look at that spider oh they got massive spiders oh what the this is dangerous, look at that. Oh, is that a black widow? I don't know, it's freaking big and probably poisonous. Oh, there's bro. another big one up there. Oh, be careful. Oh, this is it, going, going. on. Hello? Anyone in there? Sounds like someone's gonna be in here. Do you think they went out like for hunts real quick? Maybe they abandoned this house. What the freak? Dude, this place is freaky. So from what Don's been telling me, apparently a door slams non-stop in here when the construction workers are here working. Really? Yeah. Is it, so far, I don't see any doors though. Uh, is it downstairs, upstairs, did he tell you? I don't know, he said there's a kid's room with blood all inside of it too. What so, the hell? Yeah, apparently there's a kid's room with some weird writing in it. Okay, we gotta find that. Whoa, creepy ass place. This place is weird. Right? As if they said that they had police chase out feral people here. The thing is, I've heard of this. What? What'd you find? What the heck? What the? This is so creepy. What? This is like Blair Witch vibes for some reason. This is very eerie. Right? What makes this even creepier is knowing that this is in the Appalachia. Like, yeah, like you don't know what the heck is going to pop out. The trail, the Appalachian Haunted Trail is literally right outside the doors. Like you just don't know what's going to pop out or come at you. For all we know, there are fair people living there. He even told us guys off camera that we should legit be careful because this is like some real stuff. People literally live in the wilderness and they hunt other people. That's what he told us. He, he, he was like, yo, are you sure you want to do this video? Like, yo, this is at your own risk. Bro, that's not a good sign. So this place is... No one else should be in here. I want to get out of here. No, no, no. There you go. Here we should. No. What the fuck? There's not supposed to be anybody else here. Bro, is that a feral prison? There's somebody in here. That, dude, dude, that came from upstairs. So we have permission to be here. Whoever's in here does not. I want to get, no, I can't, no bro. We don't have any weapons on us right now. Should we, should we, go, should we go check? Did it sound like one person? It sounds like walking upstairs. Okay. Hold on, there's something we can use possibly? Maybe this? Yeah, maybe. Bro, cause I heard that, that was loud. Somebody's upstairs. Hello? Who's up there? Whoever's in here, you're not supposed to be here. My friend owns this place. You need to leave, we're gonna call the cops. Okay, let's split up and go search. Okay, dude, that came from upstairs. You go right, I'll go left. All right. Hello? Is anyone here? Who's here? Anyone here? Are you hiding somewhere? It sounded like it was right above the kitchen. Where's the kitchen's right under here. Where? There's a guard wheel and there's a creepy mirror that says 666 on it. Really? Yeah. This is cool. Where? Look at this. What the? And look at the gargoyle. There's a gargoyle to the right. Do you think it came from here? Well, the kitchen's right beneath us. No, hold on a sec. Hold on. I feel like it came from down here. Hello, I know you're here. What the freak is this? Is this blood? 
Yo, Mo! What? Dude, there's blood! Bro, there's literally blood! Oh, so that Bro, there's blood here! So that is true. He told me there's blood in the... What is this? Oh, look right there! Somebody's walking. Hey, who's here? We know you're here hiding. You can't be here. Yo, what if it's one of those like Bro, they literally might be. Yo, there's more here. There's more blood here. Oh yeah, you're right. Dude, there's literally blood. And he told me about that. He said there's a, a child's room that has blood in it and there's some weird writing everywhere. What the f things, bags, dying, lettuce, learn, people, aunt, girl, uncle, places, city. Dude, this is why he said come at your own risk. Let us out. Let us out, what does that even mean? Look at this, there's a whole closet covered in blood. What the heck? I'm gonna have to blur that blood, you guys. You put this in my blood. Bro, I still have like nightmares. I'm still traumatized from a couple days ago when we were in the forest. Yeah, we've had a lot of crazy stuff happen to us while being out here in the Appalachia. But we gotta we gotta keep going man. This is what we came here for. That's why nobody's coming out here because everyone's too scared. Who's here? Dude, there's an- is that another upstairs? Holy shit, there's, there's an attic, yeah, dude. There's an yeah. attic. So check out this house. Dude, I'm actually scared. Let's just keep moving on. Okay, but just keep your an eye out, because somebody's definitely here. What the hell are these paintings? What is this old- This is so creepy. Guys, that was the freakiest thing. Low key, I have to like, it's really hard to film when you're legit terrified because we saw, like we heard something and I don't want to get hurt. Like if you guys remember from the last couple of videos that we did, there's real danger, so. Well, close that door for me if you're here. We hear you like to close doors. Did you find anything? No. There's no one down here, oh. me. Dude, there's an attic. Look, there's a bedroom here. There's a chance they ran upstairs. I thought I heard something. No, I, I heard that. Are you upstairs? There's nowhere to hide. We're not here to harm you. Although you can probably harm us. What the fuck was that? What, what? Who said that to me? Said what? So they just said something to me from over here. Actually. Wait, from right here? Bro, something like screamed at me from in this room. Is anyone in there? Bro, that was so scary. It screamed into my left ear. I'm legit terrified right now. Is anyone here? Hello? Come out. If anyone's in here, give us a sign. I want. To, I need to hear back my video because it sounds like something tried to talk to me from here, from this room. Okay, I'm not kidding. Here's the thing: is I don't know if it's paranormal or if it's a feral person. I mean, if it was a feral person, realistically, we would have seen them, right? Yeah, that's true. Unless they're really good at hiding, which. But we did hear loud footsteps. Like somebody ran through here, so somebody was here or is still here. Maybe they're in the attic. Dude, the attic's actually really creepy. There's literally a table in the middle. Oh, of the you attic. made it up the attic. I went up a little and then you screamed. It smells kind of weird up here. Look at these windows. Dude, what is up with this table? Look at this house. Do you think something happened here? Yeah, that's so weird. Looks like they were gathered here. Oh, dude, that that's blood. That brown stuff, that's oh, blood. Shit. And why is this oh, shattered right in the middle? That's blood right on top of the plastic. For real? Yeah, that's actual dry blood right there. Oh, yep, that's blood. That's how blood illuminates in the UV. Really? Yep. That's 100% blood, dude. Yo. Oh, holy so, so let me get this straight. So we have blood right here. Yeah. And then there's glass. There's blood on the glass. Oh, look. There's like blood on the glass. Yeah, what the hell? What the? What are they doing? So kind of. Oh, there's more right there. What in the hell? Is Where are they doing a ritual? Look, it's all over the place. Dude, that's so freaking crazy. Shh, shh, shh. Yo, did you hear that? They're knocking from behind you. 
Low? Purple right just Is that one there? What the f Yo, we have blood. That is legit blood. And DNA on this. And what the hell were they doing with this pot? Or whatever this was. Some weird something weird's going down here. Wait, there's more stuff here. Is there anybody hiding it up in here? Anyone hiding? Where are you? Whoever is hiding is doing a real good job at it. The entire time. But there was nobody else but two guys doing insulation. Which look, the insulation never got completed. Wait, he heard two people coming up and down? No, no, so the people that were working on the attic doing right. insulation work, they never got to finish because they actually ran away scared because they kept hearing somebody going up and, up and down the staircase. And look, that's proof of that because the insulation never got finished. Wait, dude, that's what we heard when we were downstairs, remember? Yeah. We heard somebody like moving up here. Yeah, but we were in the kitchen. What's with us? Is there anything paranormal in here? Look, there's like a secret room over here. Can you give us a sign? Oh my god, dude. What the? I wonder if there's a basement. Dude, there probably is. Should we go look? Let's just do one last throw. Look around here in case we miss something. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? It came from downstairs. Yeah. Anyone down there? Dude, where the hell did that sound come from? I wonder if this was it. Do you think someone was running downstairs and actually hit it? I think somebody threw it. Like something threw it. Something doesn't want us to be here, clearly. Bro, maybe we need to check the basement. There's gotta be a basement, man. Hey spirits, give us a sign that you're here. Anyone here? Oh my god. What? Did something sure, scratch? Something's touching my left leg. Like, on my ankle? Something's actually touching me. It feels fucking cold, dude. It's actually. I think I missed cold. it. I think. Huh? Like, I, I literally. What does it feel like? I feel like I'm being touched and it feels kind of cold. Move, move. A gentle touch. Move your foot. Let me see. Last time I, I didn't believe you and then I, when I was editing, I saw a legit scratch on your leg. It still feels like. Let me see. Is there anything? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's moving in that room. Something's moving in this room. Who's in there? We caught you. You're stuck, you're stuck in this room. Something shook that cabinet, dude. Anyone here? We legit just saw you. Just come out. I wonder if the paranormal that's happening in here with these employees when they're in here is because of the mirror. Do you think so? Because you know mirrors are very extremely haunted. Yeah, and there's also like a random mirror just chilling right there. And it's for what reason? to the mirror or something connected to this gargoyle over here well you know it also could be the spirit of that kid who went missing right Quite possibly yeah there was a kid i think his name was daniel he was six and he went missing in the uh and the appalachians but here's the thing the appalachians are massive dude that's true we don't know if that was in this area exactly could be other kids that went missing that's true but what we heard in here was loud and it sounded like a big person running in here okay let's see if we can find the basement i have no clue what the hell that sound was we were upstairs we heard it Something is here for sure. We just, we don't know where. Someone's here and they're playing games with us. I just don't know where. I don't know if there's a basement though. The fuck? Oh, oh, oh my God. It's going straight to orange right here at the doorstep. Is anybody in here? Yo, it's freaking it's going out. straight to red. What the hell? Look at this. Maybe something is inside here? Yeah, there was like something Dude, happened. Check that door. I don't know like if what I'm more afraid of, feral people or these freaking spirits. Oh, what the hell? It's still going off. Here, I'm gonna turn off my light so you guys can see this.
Oh, that's going straight to Dude, red. Something's here. What is that noise? You heard that too? Yeah, yeah. What was that? There's something walking around in here. They're just moving in here. Something is definitely here. It's just whatever it is, it's really slick. Because it keeps evading us. There's no way it's human. Dude. So no. you didn't find a basement, you said? No, I didn't find no basement. Oh, I did. Look, it's right here. Oh. Oh my god. The basement. This is the basement. Brace yourselves. We're going in. Guys, we're about to go inside the basement. Oh, oh! oh. What the fuck? What the hell did you see that? The light! How the hell? Dude, the light literally just turned on my toe. Oh, it's weird because as that happened, I was looking at this hand. There's a random glove here. What the? Why is there a hand down here? And I'm like, why is there a hand here? Bro, it must be the workers that you said ran away. Yeah, could be. There's literally a hand in the basement. I thought it scared the crap out of me. I know it's just a light, but that light should not have gone off. Well, how did it just turn on by itself? I have no idea. What the? Did you flick it on? No. Bro, I'm filming the light. How would I flick it on? Dude, I don't know. I'm just looking for a logical explanation here. There is no logical Because no I saw that and that was... Is this place is fucking hot? That was, that was freaky. Thank you for giving us a sign. This reminds me of Can you give us another sign? Anything will do. Give us another sign that you're here. Look at these old jars. What the? What is this? Old school drawers from back in the day. Some old what newspapers. Whoa, old newspapers. From what year? It's a long time ago, I'll tell you that. Yeah. These are very old. Some These old jars down here. Wow. Dude, I don't know if you should be even touching that without gloves on. You should yeah. be careful. I wasn't even filming. It's, it's so good. It's, 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 it's clicking. Somebody's upstairs. Shit, shit, shit. We were right under it here. It sounded like clicking. Bro. That means there's someone's ears talking to each other. We were told about clicking. Everyone in Virginia was telling us about the clicking. They you know what clicking language. means, bro? Yeah. The feral people have a secret language. Dude, what? someone's here. Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, where the hell did that clicking sound go? I don't know. But what if they're coming? What if Look, we're, we're already in here and dude, things playing with us? Fuck. We, we either need to get out of here or we need to go hide. Like, straight up. I'm not trying to become nobody's meal today. You think they're going to do that? Like, you think these, these people are, like, that bad? Like, Bro, what do you mean do you think? I mean, they, everyone's been telling us that. Bro, Don literally told us that these people eat... And they hunt other people. They're cannibals. Wait, what's in here? Mo, this is serious, bro. Look, we either need to get the hell out of here or we need to go hide. I'm yeah, not I don't want to be no one's meal. Like, I don't want to get out of here, but I will. Because, like, we have a job to do. We have to figure out what's haunting this place, right? Yeah, that's true. And we have to figure out why, how it's happening. We should try doing necrophonic. Maybe we go upstairs or something. Okay, yeah, yeah and you know what? Let's, let's go hide upstairs, maybe we can catch them. So we're gonna go upstairs, not hide, but we're just gonna do necrophonic. Okay. Right? Um, I'm still not convinced that it's feral, people. I'm still convinced that it's the spiritual activity. They, oh, dude, dude, dude. What? what the hell was that? What? Bro, do you, are you kidding me? You didn't feel that? No, what was that? Bro, what happened? Seriously. Bro, that was literally like a footstep. I swear to God, I literally felt it. Oh, what the fuck is like squeaking? Bro, I'm telling you, I just heard that again. Bro, I'm not making shit, this shit up. Like, should we try to do necrophonic? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Who's here? Is that one here? Talk to us. Hey, this is a room I've been into. Who's here? You want to talk? Is anyone in here? What the hell was that sound? Bro, I'm still freaking out. Guys, I'm literally freaking out so How hard. many spirits are in this house? Oh, did they? No. Did they say six? Guys, I've been freaking out so hard, I literally forgot. Plenty. There are many, many. 
guys i've been freaking out so hard i forgot to shout out merch make sure you go and copy merch this is the official road trip merch all those road dots tour go get it right now how many people are in this house was that you or was that the feral people where are you bro i heard mo I mean, we always hear them all, right? Where are you? Oh, oh! What the? What the fuck was that? Close the fucking door. Close the fucking door. Close it. Close it. No shit, I heard that. That's why I fucking ran. But what was that? I don't know. There's something down there. Someone's down there. Someone's down there. We're I can't believe we're sitting in the closet right now. Yo, I know you guys can't see me. No, no, fuck, I'm gonna turn on my light a little bit. Okay, do it, do it. No, it's too bright, it's too bright. But we're gonna get caught. By what, though? There's something clearly down there. Oh, something is down there. Let's just wait and see if anything walks around. Okay. Alright? Yeah, yeah. We won't go out of the closet until something walks around. Guys, we legit have died. We heard that. I don't know what that was. Comment down below what you think it might have been like. It sounded like metal. They have like chains. Oh, what if they have chains? Bro, what if they have weapons? Yeah, like chains. Oh, we, we, we need to stop talking, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the light. This is getting serious. Guys, I'm so scared. What is that? Bro, what the hell? If these things come up here, we're fucked. Okay, guys, look, we legit can't. the cameras aimed at the door. Okay. What if it leaves? What if it's looking for us? It clearly knows we're here. Okay. Because we came in here talking loud and then it started walking around upstairs. So clearly it knows we're here. Okay. So what do you suggest we do then? Get the hell out of here. Do we, but what if it has a weapon, bro? I don't know if this is paranormal or if this is actual feral people. Like, what could it be? That's the scary part. <clears throat> like, I heard something rattling. It sounded like chains. What if they legit have chains and like whips and stuff? Like metal. So I did not, like honestly, like I didn't know there was going to be feral people coming in here. We knew, like we were told that this is haunted, there's spirits causing mischief for the construction workers, but I'm kind of like 50-50 on the fence about like this whole spirit thing. Is it spirits or is it actual? I think it's a bit of both. Because those footsteps, those are too loud to be spirits. Right, like we've heard spiritual footsteps are kind of subtle. Also. Someone was definitely, someone was definitely here. Yeah, and then they left or something, and then there was spirits. Yeah, like it's a bit of both. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Let's There's get the too much for us to handle. Here. Let's just let's just turn the lights on and watch walk each other's backs. Guys, okay, so we're gonna go downstairs right now. You guys heard that, Mo? You ready? Well, we came here to investigate this guy's house. We got We're way sitting more here hiding in the freaking closet. We got way more than we bargained for. Dude, should we take that shovel with us? And do what with it? Like in case someone comes, we can hit them with it. it doesn't sound like there was a lot of them. Is it maybe like one? But when we were in the closet, it sounded like somebody was walking up the stairs, right? Yeah. Do you think it sounded like one person or two people or three? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know like what to believe anymore. Is it spiritual? Is it something else? Okay, let's just make our way out of here. Dude, I'm so nervous to go down. Dude, let's just. I feel like it's gonna go down there and it's gonna be like. There's gonna be a trap? 
Yeah, I just feel like someone's gonna bring us downstairs. Is there anyone down there? I mean, obviously they wouldn't even say they are. We have guns. Dude! What? Dude, someone just took a crop. That was not there before. Oh, you're right. That's that's fresh. Oh, you're right. What the? Dude, something isn't That there. was literally not there. Somebody just took a dump in this place. Bro, what other person would take a dump than a feral person? That's what that smell is. That's a fresh crop. Yo, so somebody is actually here. Someone's here, someone's here. Oh my God. Okay, dude, let's get the hell out of here. It might just be one, and I think they, they, they definitely... I think, you know what I think happened, bro? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think one person came, they realized someone's here, and they want to get their friends. So let's get the hell out of here before the rest of them come. Yeah, I, I get it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is this Cartoon Cat? Yeah, it's Felix the Cat. You don't remember Felix the Cat? Looks like Cartoon Cat. I grew up watching this dude. Really? That is interesting. What is this doing here? I don't know. All right guys, we had to get the hell out of there. We're still a little confused. Was that something paranormal or was it a feral person? We don't know for sure because like, it felt like we were being hunted, hunted yeah. inside there, right? Yeah, felt like, like we were being hunted. At one, at one point, it felt like something was following me and following Mo as well and something was hunting him. The one thing that Mo mentioned, which is true, is how were we not able to catch them? But it's probably because they evolved in the forest for centuries and centuries and they developed like evolution like maybe different hands apparently have longer arms or something they're, like they're that. They're the predator. Yeah. So their their hunting skills is top notch. Yeah, top notch. And again, we don't know for sure feral person or if it was just like something paranormal. We don't know for sure, but we're not sticking around to find out. We're gonna get the hell out of here before one of them turns into 10 of them. So let's get out of here while I still can. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I hope you hit that like button and left a positive comment. Subscribe to my channel, turn the post notification bell on so when I upload more videos, you don't miss out. This is gonna be an insane trip and I hope you're liking it so far. So don't forget to go cop your road trip merch, all those world dot store, and go subscribe to most channel guys. The link is gonna be in the description down below. Without further ado, we'll see you in the next one.